All right, in this video, we will pick up where we left off. We are practicing combinations of transformations. That's two or more transformations. So far, in the previous video, we've done the first page of this worksheet. And now we're moving on to the second page. So problem number 10. Describe every transformation that maps the given figure to itself. Okay, so reflections and rotations will sometimes uh, map a figure onto itself. Meaning if you do a reflection over a certain line, the uh, figure will look the same. So in this case, uh, all we have to do is look for the axis of symmetry. So for example, this line right here is the axis of symmetry for this image. Using this line, I'm separating the image into a top half and a bottom half. And you'll notice that the top half is the mirror image of the bottom half. So if I do a reflection over this line, the uh, overall picture will look the same. So that's one transformation that maps this figure onto itself, is a reflection over the line. A horizontal line is always y equals a number, so y equals negative 1. Now, I don't think they mean for us to include a rotation of 360 degrees. Um, but obviously, if you do a rotation of 360 degrees, that's always going to map a figure onto itself. I'm not sure if they want us to write that down. Um, if they did, we would have to say rotation 360 degrees around. And the center point is right here, 2 comma negative 1. We rotate 360 around that point, it's going to end up back where it started. All right, moving on to number 11. Um, describe every transformation that maps the given figure onto itself. So um, let's do these reflections again. Let's start with this horizontal axis of symmetry. OK, if I put my reflection line right there, the top half and the bottom half look the same. So if I do a reflection, um, the top half will map onto the bottom, and the bottom will become the top, and nothing will really change. So that is our first um, example. So we can say reflection over, and this is a horizontal line, y equals 1, y equals 1. Now, this has another axis of symmetry. Um, if I do this vertical line, right, right down the middle. <clears throat> so a vertical line right here is another axis of symmetry. So if I reflect over that line, the left side will become the right side, the right side will become the left side, and it will look the same. So that is a reflection over the line x equals negative 2. A vertical line is always x equals a number. So x equals negative 2. Now, there are rotations that will uh, cause this figure to look the same other than 360 degrees, which definitely always will work. Um, but we don't have to quite go as far as 360 degrees. Let's draw a rectangle so I have something that I can rotate. OK, so I'm just going to sort of trace over the top of this rectangle. So I have a copy of it. Now, if I rotate this 90 degrees around the center, like this, OK, I just went 90 degrees. Right now, it doesn't match. So this is no good in terms of mapping onto itself. Now. If I rotate another 90 degrees, bam, it falls right back on top of itself. So, of course, rotating 90 degrees twice, like I just did, is the same as rotating 180 degrees. 
Okay, so we could say rotation 180 degrees around um, and the center point right here is a uh, negative 2 comma 1. Okay, and under here I'll just squeeze in or 360 degrees because uh, 360 degree rotation will always take you back to where you started from. Alright, that was number 11. Let's move on to number 12. All right, I'm a little frustrated because uh, I just went through all of these options. We're supposed to see which sequence of transformations will map triangle ABC onto triangle RST. And I went through all of these, and none of them will map the first triangle onto the second triangle. So I had to erase that part of the video because I believe that they meant to say x equals negative 1. Um, because if I do that, then one of them will work. All right? But I just wasted a pretty good amount of time. All right, so let's check this out. If we reflect triangle ABC across the line x equals negative 1, okay, the line x equals negative 1 is a vertical line at negative 1, like this. Okay, so let's use that as our reflection line. So, notice how point A is 4 units to the left of this line. So the reflection would be 4 units to the right. Point B is 2 units to the left, so B prime would be 2 units to the right. Point C is two units to the left. C prime would be two units to the right. So this would be the reflection over the line y equals, uh, sorry, x equals negative one. Now, what if I then translate this image down one unit? Well, that's not going to do it. If I just move this shape down one, then that's going to move um, the, this bottom of the triangle here. It's going to move the base of the triangle from here to here. If I just move down one, this will be the new bottom of the triangle. That's not far enough. I need to move the base of the triangle all the way down to here, SR. Okay, so let's rethink that. So A is not the answer. Um, how far would it be if I moved this base all the way down to where it should be the, at the base of the other triangle? <clears throat> um, so that is five units down. So if we do the reflection over the line x equals negative one and then translate the result five units down, then ding, 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 we have a winner. The answer is option B. All right, so obviously these other two choices don't work out. Last one. For number 13, we need to describe a sequence of transformations to get from polygon A, B, C, D to polygon A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, D double prime. Oh, I think this is B double prime over here. Well, the new image is definitely twice as big as the original. Notice that the distance from, from A to C is four units, while the distance from A to C prime, uh, A double prime to C double prime is eight. All right, similarly, uh, it's twice as big horizontally. So this image is twice as big. So I definitely uh, know that we, we're going to need a dilation um, by a scale factor of 2. And I think a dilation from 0, 0 from the origin will do it. Um, notice that point C is one unit away from the origin, 
while C double prime is two units away from the origin. So if I do a dilation from zero, the new image should be twice as far away from the origin. So that would move this, um, the right number of spaces away. It would, it would move C, um, instead of being one unit away, it will be two units away, just like we need. So I think step one is um, dilation from the origin by a scale factor of two. All right, so if I were to do that, everything is going to get twice as far from zero. Uh, maybe I should zoom in a bit. All right, so point C is one away from zero. It will become two points away from zero. So this would be like the point C prime, okay? Okay, I was trying to get away with doing this without um, transforming the points individually, but I feel like I should show it. So uh, if I'm doing a dilation from the origin scale factor of two, all I need to do is multiply everything by two. So A prime is gonna be the point two comma eight, and B prime is gonna be 10 comma four. And C prime is gonna be two comma zero, that's what I was talking about. And D prime is going to be four comma four. So I'm just gonna plot all of these four points. So right there, that gives us this purple quadrilateral right here, um, twice as big. Now, taking a step back for a minute, you can see how the purple quadrilateral and the, um, you know, the image that we're shooting for, the target, they are mirror images of each other. They are the same size, only they're facing in opposite directions. So that's why the next transformation needs to be a reflection over the y-axis. That would just flip this onto the other picture. So the second transformation needs to be a reflection over the y-axis. Whoa. Okay, and you can see if I did that, each point would land right on top of um, the corresponding vertex of our target image. So I don't actually have to do any points. You can just visually see how it would match up. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.